Hello all, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about some of the CSS text property. So let's start. The first one is the color property. The color property is used to set the color of the text. So whenever you write some text in heading, paragraph, or any of the HTML tag, you need to provide some color to the text. You can make use of the color property. Another property is background color. So the background color property is used to set the background color of the text so here we can learn about the color how to add color to the text as well as background color to the text another property is how to align text on your web page so alignment is the adjustment of your text so how it will be displayed on the browser text alignment property is used to set the horizontal alignment of a text a text can be left or right aligned centered or justified so text can be aligned to left side right side or to the center and another one is justified so what is the use of justified here so when the text align property is set to justify each line is stretched so that every line has equal width and the left and right margins are straight so as you see in the newspaper there is a proper alignment like if you see in this presentation here you can see there is some extra space and right uh, here the content is appended towards the right so it is not a proper alignment here so with the help of justify you can provide it in a same li same line so let me show you in the demo how we can make use of this properties so this is my text align.html file here i have one heading code crush online tutorials another heading h3 text align and i have here one paragraph and this is the content of paragraph so this is a simple web page so let me show you how it looks on the browser So this is how the web page is currently looking on the browser. So first heading code crush online tutorial then second heading and this is the paragraph content. So now what I will do here. Let us make use of CSS file here. So this is my text align.css file. Let's first provide a color to the text. So let's say I want to provide color to the h1 tag. So I will provide here the name of tag h1 color so color is used to give color to your text let's say color i want is white let's save this and you need to link this css file to your html file otherwise the changes will be not reflected so you need to make use of link tag here link and in href you need to provide the name of css file text align so this is the name of file here text align dot css save this code and refresh the browser so here the uh, content is not visible because we have added here the white color let me change the color to blue refresh the page see blue color is applied here so uh, this color is applying because we have applied here color so the text color is applied here let me add here white and let's add background color background color black save this see now the background color is added to this h1 tag because we have added the properties only to the h1 tag so it has the background color as black and text color as white so let's add for the h3 tag as well so h3 h3 tag is containing the content text align so let's add its color color let's say white only and let's change the background color to blue refresh the web page so see background color is applied as blue and the text color is white only now let's make use of the another properties which were the text align property so the text align property is used to set the horizontal alignment of a text so let's say here we want for the heading tag we provide a property as text if there are multiple properties you need to separate them with the help of semicolon text alignment or text align here you can specify let's say i want to have in the center if i refresh the page see the content is now applied to the center if i say here right so it will be applied towards the right 
see towards the right it is shifted and left was the default one so here you can see it is applied to the left so let's have this left and here you can specify text align to center so the text here is aligned to center the content of the h3 tag is towards the center now if you see this paragraph here you can see the lines are not getting ended at the same location like here you can see all is getting ended here then css is ended here so there, this is not a proper alignment so how you can make use of text align property to make it in a proper order so this is the content of paragraph text or paragraph tag so here you can specify p name of the element and then you can say text align justify so if you provide here the property justify and refresh the page now you will notice the difference toward the how the lines are getting ended on the web page see now all the files are getting end in a all the files are getting stretched as you have seen in the theory here when the text align property is set to justify each line is stretched so that every line has equal width so here you can see all the lines are having the equal width so in this paragraph i can also say here text align center so let refresh the page so see you can see here the text is getting aligned towards the center so if i say only justify so it's look better on the web page see justify the paragraph here all the lines are having the equal width now what i want to do this la last line which is presented here style sheets are stored in css file i need to add some properties to this last line so how you can provide styling to the last line so here there is another property text align last so if i provide here the values to the text align last property it will applied only to the last line let's say right so you provide here right and if i refresh the page so this line is getting appended towards the right side if i say here left so it will be appended towards the left and if i say here center so it will be applied to the center so in this way you can make use of the text align property to display your text whether on the uh, each side of the browser so that was all about the text align we will see another topics in next video thank you for watching